today I'm going to explain to you what's in these bags on the bike for this trip. There's seven bags which has been carefully planned. There's the, the number one bag on the front, the two front panniers, the bar bag, the rear panniers and the rack bag on the back. First of all, we open number one bag and we have a mini pump, a light for the tent, Swiss army knife, a notebook, wallet, sunglasses, normal sunglasses for being off the bike, reading glasses, a spare inner tube, uh, action camera, waterproof seat cover for the leather saddle, Emergency food packs, pasta packs that boil in water, a head scarf, a cloth, energy gels, electrolyte tablets for the water bottles, and a spork. It's a spoon and a fork and a bottle opener. Very important for the beers. Inside the secret pocket. Headache tablets, a pen, and there's locks for the tent and the bike locks, the keys for the bike locks. Going on to number two bag on the front. A rain jacket. A fleece. And inside that bag is a pair of trainers. Number three bag, or pannier. Okay, it's a spare fold-up suitcase for carrying extra things in the airport once the bike is in the box. And this, which is very important to me, is a very comfortable pillow. It's a memory foam pillow. Number four. Plastic Ziploc bags, a camping adapter. When you're on a campsite, you find many of these plugs which will convert to the normal mains electricity, which then inside here is a five point USB hub with all the cables for all the electronic stuff that I'm carrying. A power bank, a first aid kit, also with uh, the, the headache tablets and uh, antihistamines inside. More electrolytes, a mini tool kit, and tire levers. Number five pannier. It's basically, I'm not going to get all this out, but in there is clothes, which includes swimming trunks, underpants, um, base layers for warmth, 
base layer trousers, extra cycling kit, t-shirts, long t-shirts, jumpers, uh, head scarf again. Uh, that's pretty much all that's in there. I'm not going to get all those clothes out. Number six pannier, quite a heavy one. This is mainly camping equipment. So, again, a cloth, toiletry bag, bike lock, another bike lock, a micro towel. Toothpaste should be in the toiletry bag. Inflatable pillow. Cooking pot. And inside this cooking pot, there is a, sp a sponge, a cleaning cloth, and a mini stove. What we need to do when we get to Zagreb is buy a gas canister that will power up this mini stove. And the metal cup that goes onto the cooking pot. Sleeping bag. Inflatable mattress, about 12 breaths, that's a uh, quite a comfortable mattress. Finally, number seven. It's a tent, a wet clothing bag, and also the space in here for when we go to supermarkets and pick up groceries so we can just put them in there it's on the back of that rack you put the bungee cord on and uh, yeah we have shopping space and just quickly about the bike itself this is a trek 520 touring bike it's one of the longest running models in the trek range and I think it's been running for about 20 years now. This is the 2023 model, which I saved hard for and bought in March of this year. The frame itself is a steel frame. It has uh, a couple of advantages. One being comfort, it absorbs shock more than uh, aluminium would. And also if I damaged this frame and it needed welding, it can be repaired, whereas an aluminium one, it's going to be very difficult to repair. We have uh, Shimano disc brakes here, strong wheels with extra spokes and extra thick spokes to take the weight. I did do an upgrade on the tyres, and I've upgraded to these Schwab Marathon Plus. They're supposedly virtually puncture proof, and they're a very good quality tyre. Again, like we said before, we've got the racks front and back, which are designed to be able to carry all that weight. That weight, by the way, on those bags is about 25 kilos, uh, and I believe the bike's about 15, so I'm going to be carrying 40 kilos of weight up the mountains in Croatia. We have a good gearing system for those mountains, which is uh, it's got we have three chain links Shimano again a good cassette on the back with extra gears on there another upgrade I did was the saddle this is a very good quality saddle made by Brooks it's leather and it needs to be kept dry and it actually uh, molds to your body so over time it gets more and more comfortable that's pretty much it now for that explanation of what we're carrying and about the bike. Just to let you know that the charity now has raised 2,400 euros, which is fantastic. And thank you all to everyone who's donated. We will be updating you again before we go. 
And just to let you know that Ross is on his way from Wales. And, uh, he's just passed through Budapest and now he's going along the Lake Balaton. And he'll be meeting me there in Zagreb in two weeks time. From two weeks tomorrow, that's when I go. So once again, folks, thanks for supporting us. Follow the Facebook page, follow the YouTube channel, subscribe if you want to. And yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.